crap, guys. Look at what's happening. Huge bighorn sheep, 20 feet away. I just spotted a bear. I set up a bunch of filters on the front of the 24 to 70. I feel like Morton Hilmer right now carrying my camera like this. One of my favorite views ever. Here is a moose. So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be uh, spotting some wildlife. Hopefully it's gonna be mostly a wildlife oriented video. I didn't really wanna start the video here, but I kind of had to because I'm on the Many Glacier Road here in Northern Glacier National Park on the east side. And I just spotted a bear and stopped the traffic a little bit. Then uh, I was getting some photos. He was kind of in thick brush, so it was hard to focus on him. He was either a young grizzly bear or a young cinnamon uh, black bear. I'm not exactly sure but some people were like coming up behind, like beeping at us to get out of the way. And it's like, if you're in a national park, why are you in such a rush? You have to beep at other people to get out of the way. So yeah, I got a few photos of him. Uh, now I'm coming up to a spot where me and Nolan spotted a bear last time we were here. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled. It's kind of been raining on and off this entire drive. I've only been on the drive for like 30 minutes, but it's so far pretty nice. They're doing a lot of road work on this road. So but if you can go on gravel road, then I would definitely suggest coming up here because uh, this is where me and Nolan, uh, last time we were here, saw uh, the most wildlife in such a small amount of time. So I'm gonna finish up this drive heading towards Grinnell Glacier now. I'll talk to you guys in a little while if we see something else. So guys, as I'm sure you can hear, it is back to being absolutely pouring down the rain with a little bit of sun at the same time, which is interesting. But yeah, I can see pretty much all the low hanging rain clouds. I just entered the park again here at St. Mary's and I'm just driving up towards the, you know, just the main road to go into the sun road. This is where we saw a lot of animals in the open fields on this side of the park. So if, if the rain calms down a little bit, and an animal decides to emerge, then I think it might look really cool, uh, fresh rain, and if the sun breaks through these clouds, which it is a little bit every so often, I think that would make for a really cool photo. So I'm just gonna basically drive back and forth on this road, scouting out the areas that animals would potentially be. So I'm gonna get my spotting eyes open, and I will talk to you guys again in a little bit. Okay guys, let me talk to you about what's going on. So I was driving and there was a fox right on the side of the road and I stopped, made eye contact with him, got the lens out and then another car came by and I had to put my hand out to stop them. But then because I was stopping them so they wouldn't hit the fox around a corner, I didn't get a shot of it super close. So then um, he kind of went into the bushes more that a bigger car stopped and was kind of blocking my way. So I reversed like half a mile down the road and then pulled into the parking lot that you can see behind me. We're just at a little spot along the lake and he's been hunting in this field. He had a kill that he ate on the side of the road for all the people that were still there. Um, but I got my tripod and everything set up and now the fox is taking a nap under a little tree. So don't want to disturb him too much, but I'm here with all the wildlife set up. So you can't see him, but it's that little white dot below that tree right there. I don't think he's gonna move anytime soon because he looks pretty comfortable and it looks like it's going to rain more, but luckily I believe you can get to Wild Goose Island Overlook. And because of the clouds coming through the west side of Glacier, there's pretty epic skies behind me. So I think I'm gonna wait here for a while and then right before sunset or sometime shortly, I'm gonna head up to the Wild Goose Island Overlook 
and try to get some photos there with the, the clouds and some sunset. So I'll talk to you guys shortly. Okay guys, so I'm back in the car. It's uh, raining a little bit more now, and there's some decent amount of weather that's rolling through. I'm here at the Wild Goose Island Overlook. I'm at the parking lot, and I think I'm just gonna wait here for a little while. I moved on from the fox. He, after his nap that I got a lot of videos of, he got up to go hunt again. So he was into a darker part of the woods, and I was already at pretty low shutter speed, and I didn't wanna bring the ISO up any higher, so I just, I left him alone. But yeah, now I'm waiting, and I'll show you guys Wild Goose Island Overlook. Even if it's just in the rain and it keeps raining for the next like hour or so, I'm still gonna pop out there when it dies down a little bit and try to get some photos. One hour later. I made the right decision on waiting here at Wild Goose Island Overlook because the light is coming through right now. The clouds look incredible. And yeah, it's all coming together very nicely. A little bit dull, it's still kind of plain and blue, but you know, it might make for some cool moody photos so i ran back to the car got you guys i'm also gonna just set up this camera for a time lapse and then yeah just grab a few more shots with the main setup here so that's the view let's see focus on those clouds those are the clouds looking pretty cool so it's been raining on and off got a few uh things of hail and yeah just crazy weather all together i kind of wish i was on the other side of the park right now because the sun behind those mountains that is kind of the borderline between the two uh, sections of the park uh, it looks really cool so i'm assuming it's going to be really cool on the other side but hey i'm on this side now and i'm also going to move positions try to get a better shot so i'm going to set you guys up for a time lapse and i'll talk to you in a little while you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on i'm going to grinnell glacier but there is a bit of a snow roadblock on the way they said 3.5 miles in so hopefully that'll be high enough to get the viewpoint that i want the photos at i'm currently filming with my gopro because i didn't really want to hike with the M50 out and I've got the big lens with me so yeah I want my hands free I've already seen a mountain goat but he's too far away to get any photos of so yeah I'll film a little bit with the GoPro and then I have the M50 with me so I'll take that out when I get to the destination Guys, I made it to the spot that I wanted photos at, which I've been to actually before, and I have made a video here before. This is Grinnell Glacier Lake. 
So that's Grinnell Lake right there. I've been up here before. Me and Nolan came up here on our trip a few years ago. This is about a similar spot where we stopped and took sunset photos. Unfortunately, right now, there is no sun. Um, completely covered by clouds and has been for the entire hike that I've been doing like two hours now. I've seen a few mountain goats very far away, couldn't get any photos of them. And then I've also saw a moose who is also quite far away. And I think I got a few photos of him from quite a distance. He was down in one of the valleys and I was up here on one of the ridges. So I'm just gonna snap a few photos. I'm not really gonna do anything special. If there was more dramatic clouds, I would try a long exposure to get some movement in the clouds. But there's not enough definition in the clouds to actually warrant a long exposure. So I'm gonna snap a few photos and then I think I'm gonna hike back down. It's still, what time is it, like six? Yeah, it's like 6.45, so we still got a while until the sunset, so I'm not gonna wait up here the entire time. I'm gonna hike back down and maybe get back to that bear that I saw earlier, so yeah, I'll show you guys those photos now and hopefully you guys enjoy this view because I absolutely love it. That's why I sat here for 30 minutes just taking it all in. One of my favorite views ever, probably. I kind of didn't need to bring the 200 to 400 and you know my shoulders aren't gonna be happy later that I did that. A few moments later. Guys I'm so happy I brought my 200 to 400 because I am currently having the most insane experience with a giant bighorn sheep. Absolutely incredible look at this. Okay guys, so after I talked to you last, another guy, super nice, walked right around that corner where the sheep was. So if you see, that's the path. The sheep was like right up there where that branch is. And so I was taking photos of the sheep right there and he didn't care that I was there, but then he kind of took off. I thought I scared him away, but it turns out this guy named Terry walked right around the corner here and right as the sheep went around the other, towards him. So. I came around the corner, was surprised that there was a guy there, and then said, hey, you see the bighorn sheep? I had no backpack on, I just left my stuff here. I had the 70 to 200 because I was getting pretty close to him, so he didn't care. So I, I switched lenses from the 200 to 400 because I was too close with that. That's how much that bighorn sheep did not care. So then I was kind of like, where'd he go? He was literally right around the corner, and the guy Terry didn't see him at all. So then I was like, okay, let's hike upwards. So we came up the path a little bit, he went up higher, and I kind of went straight up on the ridge behind me, and we both kind of converged again, and there the sheep was sitting in the same spot, and I got, oh my gosh, I got some unbelievable photos of that sheep. I'm so happy that I brought my lens now, because that was incredible. I mean, I could have done it with a 7200, but it would have been much more difficult because I couldn't have gotten as close. So I'm packing up now and I'm gonna head down. What an incredible evening here on the Grinnell Glacier hike. After the bear today,
after that bald eagle back in Wisconsin. Well, actually, maybe the fox yesterday. That was probably the fourth, fourth best wildlife sighting of the trip so far. So I'm so happy. Okay, enough talking. I'm gonna hike down. We got three miles to go, so I'm gonna pack all my stuff away and I'll talk to you down at the car. Okay guys, I'm filming this on my phone because I got my backpack on I got everything um, packed away still. And now I am here on a dock. I can't really see it. That is because there is a moose who you can see here is kind of half in the woods. So I saw him all the way up on the mountains behind me where I was hiking down from. I was just gonna go on the other side of the lake down back to the parking lot, but I decided to come here. I might as well get some shots of him. So he's kind of back in the woods now, but I'm pretty sure the trail goes past him and there's a little outcropping that I could possibly stand on and get some photos. So I got some here from this dock. I've had a lot of wildlife experiences today and it's fantastic. So I'm gonna continue hiking, probably go about 100 more yards and then try to see if I can get a photo of him through the woods. But whew, I'm excited. First moose of the trip. Okay guys, I'm here in the woods. I'm gonna lean on my gear, I'm tired. I could not find a path or a visual on that moose. It's kind of back to my left somewhere on the shore, but I'm about 20 feet away from the shore. No more photos of the moose, but I did get a few from that dock. And now I'm on the other side of the lake on a different part of the trail, but it does cut across um, on a little bridge and it goes back to the trail that I need. So I'm gonna put music back on as bear deterrent just to be safe. Guys, I feel like I feel like my favorite wildlife photographer right now, Morton Hilmer. His YouTube channel is amazing. I would like my wildlife oriented videos to be similar to his. I find them very peaceful and relaxing. And when I'm when I'm holding my tripod like this, I just feel like him. That's how he films a lot and that's how he walks around. But I, I gotta say, I gotta get a better tripod for the big lens. The good tripod head works really well, but these legs are just not steady for this seven, eight pound lens. So yeah, I gotta check out some new heavier tripods that'll be more stable for this lens. But yeah, I'm finishing up this hike now. It's been raining on and off now. Luckily the gear is waterproof or water resistant, I should say. So I just left it out. I mean, there's nowhere to put it actually. The, the lens doesn't fit my bag. So yeah, it's getting a little damp, but we're almost back to the car, probably about a mile left. So, yeah. Wow, there's... There's that view. Incredible hike. Definitely made it longer for myself by going for that moose, but I think the photos that I got were worth it. So I think I'm gonna sign off today. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the wildlife photography and the video clips that I got. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more adventuring to go. We're only about two and a half weeks into this trip and I still have got like two months left. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of photography coming up. Yeah, that's gonna be it. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like and comment down below and I'm signing off from here at Wild Goose Island Overlook. Peace.